Okay, here it is, July 22nd, 10, 12 p.m. Or a.m., not p.m., 10, 12 a.m. We're out here high. We got the wife out here. She's coming. Getting this high. Say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Trying something new, we brought some sugar water out here. We sprayed sugar water over here on that countertop. And we put some sugar water out here on the car crusher. Go get in here, check on these ladies. They're fanning front they're going underneath it mm -hmm. are they still able to get back here no I screwed this shut but okay. I gotta change this out smoke underneath there again and clean them out I... if it wasn't so stinking hot today I'd go ahead and go all the way back through the whole hive here we go Ooh, it's got a lot of bees on the bottom of it trick is do not kick it out towards your face because if you do and the bees are upset with you they're going to kick you in the face wow they have been busy all these frames were empty when I put them in here my girls have been busy 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 in here I think I'm going to sweat out the little bit of weight I gained yeah. Yeah, somebody actually told my wife she was fat. What do you weigh, 89 pounds? No, I weigh 93. 93, 93. I'm 276. I want to weigh, I want to be her kind of fat. Yeah, right. Fat. I still fit into stuff from high school. <laughs> yeah, I can't fit into nothing from high school. Hey guys, by the way, when you touch the top of that smoker, it's hot. Just, just in case I'm not the only dummy in the world. We're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to lift this one off. I wonder how heavy this thing is. 
Be careful. Ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> Get myself down here. Ah. Man. Oh. It's got a lot of bees on it. Oh. I'm sorry, ladies, but I got such a down. It's full of honey. You want to take pictures of it? Yeah, let me um, get a video of the bottom of it. Okay. <clears throat> it's a lot of bees. Okay. And this thing isn't even completely full. Gosh. Ladies, you're heavy. Yeah. Now these are brood chambers here. There will be some honey in it, but mostly it's just going to be baby bees. Alrighty. And I'm not smoking them to death, I'm just putting a little bit of smoke across the top. Letting them know I'm here. I didn't bring my little plot propolis container either, but well, I got a lot. This one, he's got all kinds of mm -hmm. on I've seen it. See, in these frames here, I figured that I'll have them all drawn out. Nobody. So what I may do is have my wife... Well, actually, I need to do it because they're in the freezer and I got that big old ice chest sitting on top. Go up and bring out some of those drawn out cones. I'll set them in the sun, warm up. Yeah. And I know which ones are ones I want to use and which ones I don't, so I need to do it. Here's one I think they're done filling it. Hi girls, how you doing? Back up. And for some reason it seems like if you talk to them. They're a lot more gentle. Oh, look at that brood. This is a beautiful brood pattern right here. You got honey all around here. Oh, excuse me, girls. How's that side look? Same? Well, you don't see very much brood on it. There's a little bit down here. There's a lot of honey up here. Yeah, they're piling the honey on, aren't they? Yeah. It's weird. This is used our derf. Well, they found our something. Derf. And they're they're getting nectar from somewhere. I mean, yeah, I am feeding my bees. But this is uh, capped honey and good brood in here. That means my queen has filled up this box probably. She's come up in here and started laying. So I got to be really careful now, because I know my queen's probably in this box. And I'm going to try to see if I can spot her. If I can spot her, I'm going to show her to everybody. Now, why did I leave that frame in there? I could take this frame out. There's nothing in it. They're all happy. They're just flying. <laughs> what is there? Like my wife was just saying, they're all happy. They're just flying around. They don't... They're like, okay. This big two-legged thing's digging in her hive again. They know I'm not going to hurt them. Intentionally, anyways. Oh man, this is a nice one. Get these ladies up out here to look at it real careful. And oh, that, look at that. These are, some of these are hatching. Oh. As soon as they're hatched, they start back filling with the uh, honey. I have ants biting me. Oh. Yeah, guys, the biggest thing we were, we have here for problems with getting bitten or stung are the stinking ants. No, those tiny ones. You get too. those little sugar ants, piss ants, fire ants, whatever you want to call them. They're annoying. And when you pull one of your frames out, you see I turned this frame. When you put it back in, you need to turn it back the same way it came out. So the bees are not confused or 
disoriented because it can mess up your whole breeding pattern. Now here's a brand new cone. This is something they just started drawing out. Hopefully they aren't doing it wrong. Or what I consider wrong. They may like it, I don't. Uh oh. That is all drone D cells. Okay. Let me shake some of these little girls off. They don't want to come off. Where'd he go? See this big old guy right here? That is a drone bee. He's a boy. Yep. See if I can pick him up. I don't want to hurt him. See, here he is. Here he is. They do not have stingers. They do not sting. All their purpose is, is to breed with the queen. When they breed, that's it for them. They die. Their male parts get ripped out with them, and the queen flies away with it. Okay, Junior, get off, thank you. We got babies here. Mm -hmm. Rotate it. I don't see very many drones on there, do you? No, not really. And this is all within 65 days. I put these in here two months, two and a half months ago. Yeah. No, two months ago. I'm sorry. It's been exactly 60 days. Watch out for your yellow jackets. They will come in and try to rob your honey box. Like a fool, I forgot to cover up this box. You gotta always cover them. And of course my cover is not the right size. Yeah, go ahead and grab that pop. Squishy with thank you. Just kill them. Save the bees, kill the wasp. And as far as I'm concerned, bumblebees can go too. I know they're endangered and all that, but you know what? Bumblebees are evil. They will go out and sting you and sting you and sting you. Do you see her? I think so. I don't know. I can't nice. tell. Oops. Oops. I thought I saw her. Here's another drone. So you got to be real careful with this because this is that they drew out. It's not attached to the bottom yet. Yeah, it might fall out. So if you shake it wrong, and it's got to be 90 something degrees out here today. Look at those bees. Sean's missing out today. That field, that sucker full of honey. Mm -hmm. That's some drone bees getting ready to hatch out right there. So she's not on this frame. She's probably gone back down. Yeah, you opened the box and she hit the road. I think I killed it. Oh, no, and I killed it. Oh, I got a bee crawling on me. Yeah, they fell off. They're going to just kind of sweep it off you. I think oh. it's a, get it on your finger and bring it up here. It's one of the ones I accidentally knocked off. I think it's a baby. Yeah, it's a young bee. Okay, here you go, honey. Get back in the box. And as long as you're gentle with them, you don't have a problem. I was like, something's crawling on me. <laughs> I'm trying not to bump any off. There's a few down here on the ground. Yeah. There's one climbing towards your feet right there. I have to keep checking for the ants. Yeah, ants will. I'd rather have the bees on me. Are... The bees are nicer. You're more likely to get you than the bees are. Nope. Sorry. Thought I squished you, but I guess I didn't. They're just now starting to cap this all over. And this was drone brood. This is probably where we got one of the swarms from. It's probably from our own hive. Yeah. We got all these guys here. Yep. That's all drone brood coming out. Okay, so now what I gotta go look for 
is queen cells. I gotta see if they've got uh, swarm cells going. I don't want them to swarm out and go away. I want to try to control the swarm. And by all means, people, do your best to make sure your, your hives have plenty of bees in them. If you have a small hive, like a small nuke that has a low number of bees in it, and you don't have the means of shaking more bees into it from another hive, don't feed them internally. That's what I do with two of my hives on the other side of my yard. And through my ignorance, I lost those hives due to wax moths invasion. They came in, they got inundated with wax moths. The honey they have in it is contaminated from the wax moths. It all uh, became uh, fermented and it goes bad. You can't use it yourself. I've got to check with some other beekeepers and see if I can use it to feed back to other bees or not after it's been frozen. I'm going to freeze it for about two weeks. In an interim period of time, somebody I should have an answer back from some of the other beekeepers. Rather be worth it to try to feed it back to other bees. Should I open feed it? Should I put it in a hive? Should I not put it in a hive? Should I just destroy it? My incline is to just destroy it um, and get rid of it. That's kind of where I'm at with that. Okay. Now, because I have brood in these, ow, ants. Yes. I need to. Uh, Move this box over there and go into the next box. Now before we do that, let me go ahead and stack this back up here. Let's go ahead and pause that. Go ahead and shut it off. <laughs> 